Hi there, Becky Esker with One Place Organize Move Consign. We also own Get Organized, Hex Transfer Moving, and Simply Serendipity. I am at a client's house, and what I wanted to share with you were some tips on moving specifically lampshades and the issues that we have with lampshades and some of the standard procedures for moving them. So generally, everyone needs to move their lamps and their lampshades. Well, the problem is lampshades do not travel well on a moving truck. And by I mean a moving truck, I mean a truck that moves and a truck that bounces up and down. And if you are moving locally, the probably the best, most cost efficient way for you to move your lampshades is to remove them off your lamps and hand carry them in a vehicle across town. We offer that as a service we do. We offer hand carries. So if you're utilizing our services and you want us to take care of those fragile items like the lampshades, we offer that service to hand carry them in our company vehicle, which is a company van rather than in our company truck, which bounces like crazy. Because what happens is to get them packed well enough that they will travel okay, you're gonna spend way more time on packing products such as boxes and tape and paper than the time that it's worth um, when you could just throw in the backseat of your car. But what I wanna show you about lampshades is that even if you take them and you hand carry them or we hand carry them for you, there's still no guarantees that they're gonna arrive um, un unscathed because they're not made to travel. They really are not made to travel at all. They're made to be put on a lamp, sit still for their whole entire life. So when I say um, sometimes damages happen, let me switch this around. So here's a lampshade, and this is an older one, and this will give you a really good idea of what I'm talking about. Even if we were able to get the lampshade, keep it in one position, there's still gonna be some bouncing no matter what vehicle you use. But also, you'll see there's cracking here. That's pretty common in lampshades where people have had lampshades for a while. And what happens is there's lined with this plastic and when you have a light bulb, and especially the older light bulbs which give off a lot of heat, it really just dries out the whole inside of your lampshade. So it makes it very, it's just crumbly and it can kind of just disintegrate and have problems. What you need to realize is that no matter how much care and effort that a moving company takes for that, they cannot be responsible for that damage because it's just something that happens. It's just the integrity of the lampshade and the process of how it gets moved because it just is all dried out and will fall apart. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Your best thing to make sure that lampshades travel the safest is to hand carry them yourself. And honestly, one lampshade at a time, um, even on someone's in someone's hand where they're just literally holding it in the car all the way there. You can kind of see I'm holding it here. Um, that is basically the safest way so it does not touch anything at all. But we know um, in reality, that's not always feasible. So just wanted to give you some hints about how to safely transport as safe as you can lampshades and once again why they do not always make the move without any damages.